guys in this video i am going to explain you how to create a new project in a xilinx isc design suite okay so first of all open the isc design suite okay so i have already opened it okay then go to file new project in that provide the name of your project suppose i am providing name as a x y z okay here you can change the location where you are supposed to save your project and this is the working directory okay working directory it will choose automatically and location will also automatically choose where you are you have installed a xilinx isc okay so you are supposed to just provide the name of project here okay then click on a next okay on next window you will get a project setting okay project setting and this pro this window is nothing but new project wizard window okay new project wizard window in that we are now doing the project setting all the left side options are property name and right side is a values okay in evaluation development board none specified okay keep it as it is next is product category in product category choose general purpose okay next all the setting you are supposed to do according to your kit okay on a, our kit we, if we have a spartan 3 device i will select a spartan 3 okay next okay specific device in spartan 3 family okay suppose i have on my kit as xc 3s400 okay make sure that xc 3s400 xc 3s400 okay means 400 and 4000 these two are available okay so we have a device available with us as a xc 3s400 okay so 400 make sure that you are clicking on xc 3s400 not on 4000 okay next package pq208 speed grade minus 5 okay so all this information is available on a device connected on your kit okay so you can see there as well okay otherwise the manual of your kit okay then something that we haven't discussed is speed grade okay speed grade we have chosen a minus i okay so answer on speed grade is available on a xilinx okay forum one of the employee has answered a speed grade as a speed grade is a time through lookup table time through a lookup table okay so date the time required to go through a lookup tables okay and next is the, this this concept is valid only for a xilinx fpj that means which concept is that if value of speed grid is more then device is faster like a minus 5 speed grid device is faster than minus 4 speed grid device okay so it means this this is valid only for a xilinx fpj okay in some other vendors device this concept might be different okay so for xilinx fpj more the speed grade more minus the speed grade means device is more the faster like minus 5 device is 10 percent faster than minus 4 device okay and every speed grade increment is by 15 percent like this, this minus 4 to minus 5 is closer to 15 means it is giving a 10 percent faster okay so this is the something called as a speed grade okay so, so when someone will ask you about speed grade just answer them as a time through a lookup table speed grade is time through a lookup table okay speed grade should be more than negative for xilinx fpj means device is more faster okay and we'll go back to our project setting next synthesis tool xilinx synthesis tool vsdl or very long okay keep it as it is simulator we are using a icing okay icing simulator we are using which is inbuilt simulator in xilinx project navigators okay we are using 14.1 14.5 whatever it may be it is inbuilt okay so i am selecting ic preferred language vsdl okay make sure you are not selecting a very long and you are selecting a vsdl okay and then, then make sure that you are selecting a source this this will be already available with you okay so no need to change okay make sure that when <coughs> someone will ask you about which vsdl language version you are using then it is a vsdl 93 one more available is 2000 okay so vsdl 93 we are using just click on the next here you can see all the summary device selected xc 3s 400 okay and all the directory name all the stuff is available just click on finish okay here you can see the device name is available here in hierarchy window okay xc 3s 400 minus 5 pq 200 okay so just click on a new source okay and select a vsdl module okay do not get confused between vsdl module and very module click on vsdl module provide the file name here okay suppose i am writing a vsdl code for alu so i am providing a file name as a alu whatever file name you are providing will be automatically considered as a name of your entity okay so click on vsdl module 
okay and provide a file name as a AV. okay once you will provide a file name make sure your click is on a vhdl module okay vhdl module just click on a next okay here you can see automatically entity name is available as ALU and this is the architecture name. You can edit the entity name from here also and architecture name also from here. Okay. As I am writing a VHDL code for ALU, okay, I have code available with me already. Okay. So here you can see the four the, 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 the total three input ports required and two output ports are required. Okay. So N1, N2, OP, result and flag. Okay. So you are you have an idea how to provide a port name like I am showing you how to provide n1 as a input port of 4 bit okay so how to do n1 as a okay so just type a port name here n1 direction is already selected as in click on a bus because we want the multiple bits of n1 and select image by the 3 okay so 3 down to 0 automatically okay similarly you are supposed to provide n2 op result and flag okay so i'll just be going to copy the code further so that's why i'm not providing a port name because it is just a Listed, okay so click on the next okay you are supposed to provide all the names okay i'm just copying a code that's why i'm not providing a port name okay you are supposed to mention all the ports name for your code okay here is the summary window and just click on finish okay here you can see the summary is available okay oh, sorry summary now all the vhdl code is available here okay with architecture entity okay you guys are aware of all this stuff make sure that here is a create date of your project okay so at the time of practical exam even if you are carrying a any storage device we have a identity of checking a create date of your project okay so we will check a create date of your project that's why then we will become uh, capable to identify whether you are ca created a project by your own or it is copied from somewhere else okay so you understand what i am trying to explain you okay so library i triple e and all that stuff is available here is the entity and architecture okay so directly from here okay here i have a alu code available with me i am just selecting it copying it and pasting in this code section okay so i have pasted it here okay so after pasting it i am just going to save it okay after you save it okay make sure your click is on your alu underscore 4 bit file okay alu underscore 4 bit file okay then only you can able to see the synthesize option okay when your click is not on this file you will not able to see the synthesis option click on this okay then just click on a plus of synthesize check the sorry i have selected wrongly the post synthesis simulation okay i will just terminate this process okay okay what i am supposed to do i am supposed to firstly check a syntax okay so i am just click on a uh, clicking on this check syntax okay here you can see the check syntax is completed the console window i have intentionally kept on a left side as a adjusted i have adjusted this console window you will see that console window is all the way on the bottom or everywhere on the bottom okay so do not get confused between uh, this is just the adjustment of console window okay the message is process check syntax is complete okay uh, next is just click on a synthesize now synthesize the whole okay when you will not get this synthesize sometimes okay just click on a right and say run okay just say run it now the code is easy synthesizing okay here you can see the synthesize is complete okay just see the rtl schematic here okay i have selected white background that's why i am getting the rtl schematic in white okay here you can see rtl schematic whole rtl schematic you can see here. zoom to full view okay full view this is the rtl schematic if you want to see in terms of lookup table then click on view technology schematic and you will get automatically all the implementation in terms of lookup tables okay so just go through this implementation different okay so here you have seen the synthesize okay rtl schematic all that stuff if you want the synthesis report okay so just go to design summary here design summary is available otherwise here is the option of design summary okay this summation symbol click on this design summary okay in this design overview you can see here as a synthesized report okay click on it okay what you are supposed to uh, important thing for you is this sdl synthesis okay sdl synthesis part is important 
HDL synthesis report is important. Okay, just next to it, HDL synthesis report. Okay. Then after HDL synthesis report, advanced HDL synthesis report is also important for you. Okay, and finally after these three reports, okay, uh, device utilization summary at the last. Okay, device utilization summary. Okay, here you can see device utilization summary. Okay, this part is important. You are supposed to attach this with your whole attached I mean, of like your computer now. Let's say. Okay, so this is the what all you are supposed to do. Okay, next. Okay, just click on this double. Okay, so your project is available. Next is you are supposed to do pin allocation. Okay, for pin allocation, go to implement design. Click on a plus. Okay, in that fourth option is place and route. Okay. Third, sorry, third option is place and route. In that second option is analyze timing and floor time. Just click on it. It will translate map and place and route. Okay. Once the implement design has been done successfully, okay, you will get a plan ahead tool at the bottom. Okay, uh, plan ahead tool at the bottom. Okay, just say okay, close. Okay, go to window, I O ports. Okay, and here you can see all the ports you have provided in your code are available. Like N1, N2, okay, and OP result. Similarly, click on plus 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 and scalar port clock and suppose if you are using clock and all that single bit stuff, so, so like flag we are using as a single bit, so that is also available. You are supposed to select the pins one by one from manual. Okay, suppose I want the first pin as a P191 pin. This first switch. Okay, click on a fix. So in this way, you are supposed to do pin allocation one by one. Okay, this is all you know already. Okay, <coughs> so in this way, you are supposed to do all the pins allocation, all the inputs by switch, and all the outputs on a LED. Okay, so I will be going to do that all the pin allocations. So here you can see that I have done all the pin allocations for N1, N2. Okay, for all the remaining inputs and outputs for output, I have selected LED. Okay, just make sure your click is on fixed. Okay, once you are done with this all this stuff. Okay. You are supposed to click on a save design. Okay, so this is already save design. Okay, here option is available for save design. Okay, click on this this option. So this 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 save constraint. Okay, and click on close. Okay, once you will cl click on a close, you will automatically get here as a UCF file. Dot UCF file. Just click on it. Okay, this is the UCF file. Here you can cross check the pins once again. Okay, once you are done with your UCF file. Okay, just click once again on your project file. Okay, then. After the implement design, this is the, we have implemented the design properly. Okay, so just next option is generate a program file. After implement design, next option is generate a program file. Click on a generate program file. Okay, <coughs> this will generate a bit file of your project. Okay, this will generate a bit file of your project. So it will take some time. Okay, once the generation is done, you will get a green tick here. Okay, so here you can see green tick. Next is click on a configure target device because we want to uh, download the project uh, the program on the uh, kit. Okay, so it say it as okay. Okay, so it will open a impact device. Okay, just click on this configure target device plus symbol. Okay, so it will automatically open the impact. Okay, so here you can see. Okay, just click on a boundary scan. Double click on boundary scan. Right click, initialize chain. Okay. Once you initialize the chain, okay. If the kit is connected here, so I am unable to show you the further steps because I don't have kit with me. So I, if right now it is showing cannot find the cable. Okay. After this, if device is connected, you will get a device here. Just right click on the device. Okay. Uh, firstly, provide the bit file. Okay. After that, just right click on a device and say. Generator, um, sorry, download program. Just say program. Okay, so this is how exactly you are supposed to do all the implementation. I hope you understood all the things, uh, all the rest, and do well. Thank you.